jar out of the way here. Damn, that turned out. Just... Wow. That's a real special guitar, so I, I tried oh, to do as good as I could, and the saddle is right on the to uh, is incredible. Martin Spetsrod. Oh, that's powerful. powerful. This is a uh, Martin CS21. Uh, it's brand new. I brought it to Dan last week uh, to have some work done. I've in the past brought uh, probably 10 or 12 guitars to Dan and uh, have always been thrilled with uh, the end results. This is a special guitar. When I, uh, when I purchased the guitar, uh, I knew it had a possibility. And, uh, but with the setup now, the nut, the saddle, uh, some work with the tuners, uh, the NPN. It's a, uh, it's like a brand new guitar all over again. The sound is incredible. Uh, it's certainly been maximized uh, from where it started. Uh, it started as a good guitar, and Dan said that when I brought it in. It, it it's a good guitar. Now it's a great guitar, and uh, once again. <laughs> Dan has done his magic, and uh, the sound is absolutely incredible for a new guitar. Uh, I'm very, very, very pleased. One thing that I do uh, a little bit different than a lot of people is I've been in a lot of jam sessions where it's really hard to hear yourself, and if you're not getting the maximum tone and volume out of the guitar, you really can't hear yourself even with a really good guitar. And one of the factors is the way this guitar is leaning right now, it isn't making contact on the bottom. There's nothing uh, stifling the face to back on the top. And so it's kind of floating on the corners right here. And then uh, we like to play right here and hold the pick something like this. I do anyway. So this guitar is blasting with just barely hitting it. I'll do a slow tune for you. Madagascar Rosewood, folks, which uh, Martin has uh, made the statement that this is going to be the new Brazilian. And uh, this also has, which I've never seen before, a Madagascar fingerboard and bridge. And so uh, it has this, uh, let's call it Madagascar Rosewood tone, just amplified in all directions with it being back and sides and also the bridge and the fingerboard both. And on this one, this has African Blackwood bridge pins which I suspect is in the ebony family. However, this is a tighter grain wood and it turns just beautiful on the lathe. So there's no uh, porous portion anywhere uh, like some, some ebony will have. Also, ebony is more brittle and more prone to uh, crack and fracture and so on. And the tips of the pins uh, fracture off when you're putting them, putting them in and so forth. So...
very sustained too. Yeah, it sounds different than a lot of uh, you know rosewood dreadnoughts that I've played. What is the face on that one, Jerry? Uh, the face. The top. Uh, Adirondack. Okay. Yeah. Nice wide grain Adirondack too. It certainly is. And the bass is there, but it's really balanced. It's very balanced across the board.